And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a starburst effect in Adobe Photoshop. The first step is to select two colors. I'm going to use black and a bluish color. You can use the same if you want via the hex code. Let me pick this one. I'll press OK. So I've cut them as a foreground and background color. Now I'll activate the gradient tool. I click on the drop down and I want to have foreground to background selected. So this is our blue to black. Click on OK. Hold Shift when you drag that top to bottom. And we've got our gradient to start with. We want to convert the layer to a smart object. So right click on it, convert it. Go to Filter, Distort and Wave. For Wave it's important to have the wavelength correctly adjusted. The rest is not that important. But you can see if we have a difference between Min and Max we'll get some crazy effects that we don't want. So min and max need to have the same value. That way we've got these stripes. And the further we go down, the more stripes there are. The further we go up, the less. Amplitude, you want to set it to the same value. But as long as it has the same value, it doesn't matter where it is. Scale, just keep it as it is. It doesn't have that much of an influence. Type, you want to have the first option selected, press OK. You can always go back and change it later on as it is a smart object. Next step is to go to filter, distort and polar coordinates. Check the rectangular to polar because this is what we want, press OK. This is basically it. We can always go back to the wave, double click on it, on a smart object. Let me go downwards and you can see we've got more stripes now. And if I go upwards a lot, we can reduce the stripes. And this is how you can create this starburst effect in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.